Doctor, you said you treat cancer patients. I do. Correct. Do you treat patients who are going through what we would call a traditional treatment of chemo, radiation? Yeah. How can patients like that support their immune system when they have such a hard time just eating in general, much less eating good? Well, there's a number of ways to do it. For, for, for one thing, it's, it, it's very hard to do with a, uh, with a, with a patient who has a, a, re, a resistant oncologist. A lot of the oncologists and surgeons will say, absolutely not. If you're, if you're going to take vitamins, I'm not going to treat you. That's going to ruin my chemotherapy. Well, every, every study that has been done on chemotherapy and vitamins shows that the vitamins enhance the chemotherapy, doesn't block it. Mm. But because the vitamins have a lot of antioxidant qualities to them, and the chemotherapy is, an, is oxidative in, in, in much of its action, uh, then, then you, you, can, you can still get plenty of treatment for people. Even with the uh, chemo, even though they're taking chemotherapy, so how do you get people with chemotherapy? Well, first of all, uh, as you say, it, when when they're getting chemotherapy, it's hard for them to eat, and sometimes you can't get them to eat. You can give them injections and infusions, and if their chemotherapist doesn't object, uh, or they choose not to tell their chemotherapist, which uh, which I don't recommend, but I think there people are entitled to make that choice. Mm -hmm. uh, then we can give them intravenous vitamins, and they do very well. When I start getting intravenous vitamin C and intravenous B vitamins, and uh, and then they start being able to tolerate oral vitamins, they're, if they're on a, on a heavy-duty nutrient supplement program, chemotherapy works better, they feel better, they function better, uh, everything seems to be better. Mm.